Hello everybody, today we're going to do a look inside of this game right here, the Arab-Israeli War. And this is Tank Battles in the Mideast, uh, 1956 through 73. And this put out by Avalon Hill quite some time ago. I'll, uh, I'll have to look and find out when exactly it was, but it was, oh, 1977, I can tell you that now. So uh, this follows along Panzer Bliss, Panzer Leader type of game. Let's look inside and see what we got. Okay, so like I said, this is a used copy of the Arab-Israeli War Tank Battles in the Middle East, 1956 through 73. Now, this was a game that I had uh, by Avalon Hill, and this is the third in the series of the Panzer Blitz Panzer Leader games. And uh, this one I picked up used for a fairly good price. I want to say like 40 bucks. I thought it was a good price. Uh, of course, the original game when it first came out, I think you, you were getting this at the time for like 15 bucks, 12, 15 bucks, you know, with a dollar shipping. So it was pretty good. Uh, it's a two inch box. And oh, the back is upside down here. So let's turn it around. So this game was in 1977 is when this game came out. And it's about the um, Arab-Israeli war, which was, um, you know, pretty extensive and mostly a tank battle. A lot of, a lot of uh, open ground, as you can imagine, desert. Uh, so there's a lot of tank uh, battle. It follows the same type of uh, combat and gameplay as Panzer Blitz, Panzer Leader with some additional rules. And a lot of people now uh, use these rules for the other two games too. So let's take a look inside and see what comes with it. I think this went back up. So the box is not too bad a shape. It's got a little bit of wear on it, but, uh, and a little bit of uh, marking on the inside, but it actually is in pretty good shape. Uh, here's the one die that comes with Avalon Hill. I'm sure that didn't come with that plastic bag. The person who sold to me put that in there, but generally this comes in the box loose and around. This one, like Panzer Leader, had uh, the rule book, and the rule book actually started um, being an actual book instead of your big fold up because it had a lot more um, instructions in it than uh, Panzer Blitz did. And you can see that we have the same type of Z little readout here on our. Uh, unit counters that is indicative of Panzer Blitz and Panzer Leader. And of course, it shows you uh, where in the world this battle was taking place. Has the map board, movement, sequence of play, combat. So, as we throw, it, it shows some informational and some pictures uh, examples here, but mostly it's reading and it's, it's pretty small writing there, so it is a bit, a bit of reading. Um, this one had line of sight things, so um, line of sight was. I don't want to say brand new at that time, but line of sight wasn't always understood back then. It was, it was really a lot of questions for line of sight when you looked in the general magazine and stuff about these different um, games. So here we have the standard rules start here. So these are the basic rules and then the standards start here and they go on through neutral counter, um, split move and fire the Suez Canal, and then we have advanced rules here. So the standard rules are 12, and uh, I'm not sure, I can't remember if you could play without the standard rules. I think you had to have them too. Um, but the basic rules are only eight pages there. And then you have special unit capabilities, indirect fire and additional in the advanced rules. Suez Canal crossing, how you go across that. Uh, construction engineering, and then optional rules for the advanced rules and new units. And then you get into the situations here. And we have the map board layouts. These are geomorphic maps that you can place anywhere except for one of them, I think is, uh, can only go one direction, but uh, we'll check that in a minute. And here are all of our different situations and battles that we have. And we come into situation A7, A6. And then we have designer notes, and then we have uh, the units, all the units that are included in the game here, and information on that. And on the back, we have Suez Canal hex and uh, bank hexes, uh, what they can do, block, and uh, game functional function markers here. This one also came with a little uh, sheet here that had the terrain effects, turn record track there. And you can see there's some marks on this, so this definitely is a used game, or at least this was out. Weapon effectiveness chart, 
line of sight and elevation chart, sighting effects chart. And again, line of sight was very rudimentary back then. It wasn't, wasn't like it is now. Uh, same way with the combat result table. You can see that's a very simple combat result table. Morale chart, so we started having morale in the game. And Suez Canal chart here. So the Suez Canal was quite an important thing that they were fighting over and around and moving around. And then we come to our pieces here. And i got to be careful here because these pieces are quite old. Oh, are quite old and they do want to pop out. So let me make sure they're all in there. And yeah, maybe, maybe I'll do this here. So here's our two sheets of um, counters here. And you can see the printing isn't like it is today. You can see these are off center a little bit. Not too bad though. Everything is on, the, on there that you need. And they're only a single sided pieces, no double sided here. So as you can see, these are single sided. They're not double sided on there and uh, really in good shape and not even punched out yet. So they will need to be punched out and corners clipped here very soon. So I can play this. And last in the box are four mounted map sheets. And uh, they were always mounted back then. You had to special order paper maps if you wanted them to use for setting up magnetic counters on your games when you play by mail. Let's see if I can get all these here in the front. Oh yeah, we can just about. Let's see, oh, pretty good, pretty. So you can see a lot of open area. Uh, these are uh, not hilltops, but ridges of sand dunes. So when a tank is coming this direction, it can't hit something on the other side until it crosses over this ridge right here. And the same way here, a little bit higher. But uh, all generally, the um, very thick mark uh, notations here would mean that you cannot fire through. Now, I'm not sure if the yellow and brown are different. I'll have to look at that because I... Like I said, I own this game, but I never really got a chance to play it. And then here, of course, is the Suez Canal, which we have a whole page of uh, instructions on there. And this one is rather a little bit more dense than these open fields here. These are pretty wide open. So that's our four maps. And again, uh, of course, you know, it looks like these can go together any direction. So you can have them that way. You can flip them around upside down, whichever, whichever way the the scenario calls for. All right. Okay, so that, that was my quick unboxing of Avalon's Hill, the uh, Arab-Israeli War. And, uh, you know, not an unboxing, more so a look inside and see what comes with it uh, so that when you buy your used copy, you know what's there. Still a very fun game to play today. Uh, it's to the test of time, like Panzer Leader and Panzer Blitz. And uh, worth getting and adding to your collection if you like tank games anyway thank you for watching and uh, please do like and subscribe on the channel and hopefully you'll be around for the next video take care